Meanwhile, Court TV following new developments in the fallout from the Johnny Depp and Amber Heard defamation verdict. Heard is now facing a new lawsuit, this time in federal court by her insurance company. The New York Marine and General Insurance Company wants to avoid paying Heard after her unsuccessful defense in the defamation suit. The basis for the suit is that the insurance company claims it does not have an ongoing obligation to defend Amber Heard. Heard's team is currently navigating how the actress will pay for both the millions she owes Johnny Depp in the defamation judgment and her legal fees for the trial and the appeal. The insurance company does not want to pick up the tab for either one. Let's talk about it with federal trial attorney and litigator Alexis Rosenberg in Sarasota, Florida, and Vonda Sargent, who's a former prosecutor. She's in Seattle, Washington. Alexis, to you first on this one. Um, the insurance company basically is saying two things. Um, first of all, that Amber Heard lost the case and the jury came to the conclusion that she willfully um, was in error. And the other part of the equation is, is that they didn't get to help out. Uh, here's a, a quote uh, from them saying basically, uh, California Insurance Code 533 provides that an insurer is not liable for a loss caused by the willful act of the insured. The jury's factual findings establish that Heard's liability is caused by the willful act of Heard. The policy does not provide coverage for Heard's liability, as reflected in judgment order entered on um, in the judgment order on June 24, 2022. Let's start with that part of the equation here. Um, what's your what's your uh, reaction, first blush, uh, with this lawsuit saying the insurance company saying, oh, we're not paying for that because uh, the jury said she uh, did X, Y, and Z? Well, this isn't unusual. Most insurance policies do not cover for what intentional torts. They don't cover for intentional acts, meaning something that you did. So that is an unusual for them to go back as well as the policy, because it's not just the statute that you brought up, but uh, insurance policy is a legal contract. So the provisions and what is contained in there is going to govern what what they have to pay <coughs> and don't have to pay. Also, with these types of policies, a lot of the policies will say we'll provide uh, attorneys you know, to be able to litigate for you, but they aren't, they aren't responsible for paying any potential judgment. But what they are hanging on right here is that the acts were intentional and probably the content of that policy state that it doesn't cover any intentional act. The other part of the equation is what you referred to. They, you know, the part of the deal here is the insurance company says, yeah, we'll provide a lawyer for you. Well, Amber Heard didn't want that. They wish she wanted her own. And in the complaint, they say Heard both individually and through her agents refused to help New York Marine with the conduct of the suit and instructed other defense firms representing Heard not to include defense counsel provided by New York Marine in the ongoing defense of Heard in the underlying action. And Vonda, uh, they're basically saying, hey, we were going to provide you uh, with legal representation. We're not paying for it. Right. Um, Amber Heard made a very uh, poor, poor tactical error there. They would have provided her a defense on what's called under reservation of rights. And that goes back to what Alexis was talking about earlier about how insurance companies do not pay for intentional acts. And uh, providing a defense under reservation of rights would have paid for the defense attorney if they would have lost, the result would have been the same. And that is, we're not going to pay for your intentional acts. The difference is they would have had an opportunity to participate in the defense. And it would have been an easier argument for Amber Heard to make to have them then um, continue to pay for the appeal in this case. But because Amber Heard shut them out of having any opportunity to provide a defense, she's kind of stuck in the water uh, in this case. And it is a contractual agreement. I'm uncertain why she made that decision to not have a defense through her insurance company, even if it is under a reservation of rights. It was just a poor tactical error, and it seems to be consistent uh, with what's happened in this case on her side, which yeah. is throughout. So, yeah. The saga it's continues. Kind of uh, Johnny Depp, Amber Heard, and you got the Juror 15 scenario, all of it still taking place. But right now, we want.